ago, EVA made a major announcement that Arrigo would be giving away a free car, a Fiat 500, at a men's basketball game. Now, we know that EVA has used tactics like giving away a free iPad or movie tickets, but this is just outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Students interviewed the director of PBA Athletics to determine just why they would do something like this. Their response? We're desperate. <laughs> <laughs> the Warren Library experienced an unheard of maximum capacity last Sunday night as students rushed to catch up on all their forgotten work due to selfish cuts. The new movie, Parker, starring Jason Statham and Jennifer Lopez, was released a couple weeks ago. And we know that the only reason that any PBA student went to go see it was because it was filmed right here in West Palm Beach. <laughs> and don't blink or you might miss that shot of your dorm room window as the helicopters fly by in that one scene. <laughs> Last month, Instagram announced that they would be altering their privacy laws in a move that makes them the sole owner of your photographs. While some have reacted strongly to this, we aren't too concerned that a company now has the rights to our vintage hashtag no filters of sunsets and Starbucks coffee cups. <laughs> In an effort to extend the holiday feel beyond the Christmas season, Einstein's has decided to continue playing Christmas music through the spring semester. <laughs> he said one student, I didn't catch on at first because thanks to the one season feel of Florida, it still may very well be the beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the MLK challenge took place again this year, which as we all know is the challenge to complete the obscene amount of homework professors give students on this three-day holiday. <laughs> Said one nameless professor, they have an extra day? These poor students must be so bored. Here, let me give them an extra assignment. <laughs> In the days leading up to the spring semester start, 60,000 college students made their way to Atlanta, Georgia for the annual Passion Conference. Along the way and during the conference, you may have experienced an inability to view your Facebook or Instagram feeds due to an overload of photos labeled with hashtag heading to the dome. Here to follow up on this experience are some college students who attended Passion. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Yes, welcome. Um, so tell us, was this your first time at Passion? Oh no, we go every year with our church group. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really neat. Yeah, it's an awesome cause. And Louis, he's an awesome speaker. Yeah. And Chris Tomlin is just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with him. Oh. Um, it's Chris Tomlin. It, isn't he like 40 years old though? And married? <laughs> anyway, Chris Tomlin led worship. How was that? You know, like, it was awesome. Like, the strobe lights and the fog machines, like, that really helps me to connect with God on a deep level. <laughs> I mean, like, it really makes me feel like the end times are near. <laughs> posted on Facebook that God was really there. And also, I posted on Facebook that the captives are set free. And also, I posted on Facebook that I had so much fun spending time with my friends in Georgia. And also, I posted Wow, you spent, you spent a lot of time on Facebook. So did you, uh, were you listening to Louie? Um, in between status updates. Yeah. Except for that time that I lost my family group and I spent like 30 minutes trying to find them. And then I lost them and again in efforts to hashtag end it. Um, speaking of idiot, I think we've run out of time. So thanks for coming. Bobby and Alex. Okay, really, P 
PBA? You couldn't have had a picture with more people in it. <laughs> and really, one lonely girl in a red dress is a hot spot. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little bit degrading? <laughs> and okay, yeah, sure, like it's a hot spot, but if your definition of a hot spot is this campus on the weekends, really? <laughs> by the beach is the library, really? <laughs> and really, after two years, don't you think it's time for a new slogan? I mean, Amen. really? PBA will only make us think of Gangnam Style song from now on, so really? Really? <laughs> and really, don't you think it's false advertising to show a girl who graduated three years ago on the billboard? <laughs> I mean, come on, at least bring back the cheesy stage pictures of real students. <laughs> really? Really? This has been really. <laughs> Last week, members of the comedy show Alice posted parodies of the PBA style billboards, which were tremendously accurate. And so to Alice, we would like to say from one comedy show to another, a most sincere thank you. <laughs> Guns, Alex, 
you don't wake up and smell the music. Like, people are, <laughs> people are angry, Alex. Society is angry, okay? And sometimes they're not angry enough, okay? It's like people and diseases and McDonald's, like, you gotta pick one. <laughs>